I, I just changed strings. It's not because I haven't practiced. <laughs> Good. That was fun. It was cool. This is, uh, thank you for introducing me to this, a new piece. I think that I was, I was trying to get more of a sense of what the, in such a large space, you know, what the sound sounded like. Because it sounded very different from when I was sitting, basically, like right underneath you, um, to when I was even halfway out there in the hall. And I think that the impression that I got was that, yeah, you need to, the articulation in some notes. So like, for example, let me see if I can. I just changed strings. It's not because I haven't practiced. <laughs> but um, for example, like there's a sense of like uh, that there is a start to the note, right? That enunciation, articulation, ha like should be there because otherwise it sounds like a... you know and then so I think just a brighter like more intention behind each note I think what you're doing is great just figuring out how to get more intention without forcing it and I was looking technique wise so here are some actionables um, like I noticed that well two things I noticed one is that you're your shoulder rest is like directly like against the back of your instrument, right? You're not using a shoulder rest. It's kind of like a pad. So a lot of your sound is being absorbed into this pad. Okay, so that's one thing. A second thing um, I noticed is that like, you're also spending a lot of time like, like here, sounding point wise, like when you should be like, you know, so it's, uh, Kind of like at least give us that yeah do you want to try that just uh yeah. cool 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 can you just tighten your boat just a, a half just yeah that would be good yeah try again And then watch your sounding point as well. And and remember that like like that 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 you're 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 looking at your bow, right? So you should be observing exactly where it is in terms of the location. Yeah. Because the second time you did it, it was like a little bit like fluffier. Yeah, it wasn't as intentioned. Make you make you feel like you're like trying harder and it will natural out it'll, it'll, it'll become more natural but it's like kind of like how we're talking right now like if I was if it was just the two of us like I'd be a crazy person to talk to you this loud right but it's because I want them to all the way at the back there to be able to be a part of our conversation so it's really about including everybody and that's why I have to you know speak a little bit slower a little bit clearer and also in this way. So maybe if you were playing for yourself in just a small room, it wouldn't be like that. That would sound kind of like just as crazy as if I were talking like this in a little room. But so think about that perspective whenever you're on the stage, all right? That it's, it's gotta be different depending on the space. The space is also part of your instrument. Okay, cool. So the trick is to try making it sound natural, right?